Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the three sound fields in your room. Maybe sound fields isn't the exact term we should be using, but I think it'll go a long way to kind of help us understand the impact that all these surface areas of our room have. And they all have impact. All impacts through low, middle, and high frequency ranges. So we have three, floor to ceiling, sidewall to sidewall, front to rear. And they all have low, middle, and high frequency issues. The floor to the ceiling is always a source of unwanted low frequency pressure. Why? Because when we have our width, height, and length, it's always the height dimension that's the smallest. In North America, we always have that nasty eight foot. So if it's going to be the shortest of the two dimensions, let's say our, our width is 14 and our length is 21, our eight foot ceiling height is always going to be the shortest. So it's going to have a lot of low frequency pressure issues from floor to ceiling. Okay. So that is an issue we have to be concerned about. Sidewall to sidewall, in this particular example, if we have a two channel monitoring or something like that, it's the time signature of these reflections versus the direct energy from the source or the speaker that we have to monitor. And not all materials are good at this. Not all sound absorbing materials in the marketplace are good at that. You have to have the proper rate and level to match voice and music. And I'm here to tell you building insulation is not it. It's designed to keep your house warm or cool. It's not designed for audio. Voice and music are special. They have special requirements, especially in the 125 to 250 cycle range. That's why I created our foam. I can speak with a lot of authority on this because I probably tested 200 corporate boardrooms to discover this quality. So music and voice are special. Building insulation is not special. Don't use it for audio. Okay, there's other methods to use. It's cheap, but you get what you pay for. A flat, horrible middle range response curve. So we have uh, the ceiling to floor. We have the sidewalls for time signature. And then the front to the rear of the room. Now the front of the room is always going to be your high source high unwanted pressure because your speakers are in that location. So the front, well, I know the literature says, well, the highest pressure areas are in the corners of the room. Well, if the room's empty and the source is in the middle, yes. How many times does that happen? Never. So it's kind of a half truth that the industry's, industry's exploited because they know if you don't have anything in the corner, it's easy to sell your product. But that area across the whole front wall is an area of unwanted pressure. And it makes sense because that's where your speakers are. So move your speakers away from the, the boundary surface and put in the proper rates and levels of low frequency management and you'll be, you'll be good. Okay. So I hope this helps. I hope you realize that we have by definition and by boundary surfaces in our room, we have three sets of problems depending on usage. Now it varies for usage, two channel mixing, mastering, playback. It's going to be different than live. So we're going to use different tools. But most of the time, absorption is our chief tool, especially for sidewalls, especially for front wall unwanted low frequency pressure. So I hope that helps you get a feel for what goes on in a room. And when you look at your room, you'll be able to better tell what the issues are. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.